Wee, there it is. Uh, that's the image I made um, using uh, Elon Musk's own uh, ridiculous piece of software that he's made. Um, this is Donald Trump hiding in a box of Fruit Loops. I initially wanted a, a, a um, I, I, yeah, like him wearing it like a kid's costume, you know, with the box of the face. That's what, I, again, the art of prompting I um, yet have yet to master. But in the meantime, off we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started because I don't have time for anything else. Um, this is Trump um, giving his little speech in front of uh, boxes of Fruit Loops and I guess bacon. In front of, in, in Bedminster, by the way, trying his best to look like he's president right now. Because, let me, let me be clear, when he could argue that the economy looked like shit and he could argue against the policies of Joe Biden and therefore Kamala Harris, he could afford, in many ways, to go, uh, you know, stand out in front of, um, in Mar-a-Lago, in his very nice fancy building and claim that, look, they're trashing the country, but I know what opulence is. If you want a great country, I'm the dude, right? Meanwhile, let me turn off this version of things. Um, meanwhile, uh, now that the economic picture is fantastic and is getting better all the time, which is uh, very counterproductive for him as, in terms of, and by the way, am I, I think I'm live. Chat room, say hello. Are you guys there? I think we're all good. Yeah, I just don't see the chat uh, in my little chat comments window, but it would probably, I can fix that. I just think I have to open up this other thing real quick. And that would be that. There you go. Hopefully, go back to here and then go back to here. There you are. Now I can see you guys. Hi. Um, now that the country looks is looking better and better while he's arguing this country decline thing, now he's doing stuff in front of Bedminster because it looks like he's at the White House. This is specifically made to look like he's standing in front of the White House. He's still president. Uh, I, maybe it's just to quell the QAnoners who think he's running the White Hats this whole time. God knows. But anyways, this is to make him look like he's president because things are going too well and he wants credit for it. That's why he's saying things like he got insulin down when he absolutely did the cost of insulin down. He didn't. So here we go. This is uh, this is him and his his little booklet. Also, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank, thank you, everybody. Nice, nice to, see to see you. you. We have, we a, have lot a lot of, of uh, interesting, interesting things, things to talk, to talk about. about. We have, we have <laughs> he so doesn't want to do this. Very, very specific, specific things. things. <laughs> I don't want to talk about specific things. I think being specific is boring. Uh, but my handlers are saying if I don't do it, I'm screwed. So, uh, we'll, take we'll take our, take our time. time. We, we have, have plenty of time. time. We'll take our time. I think you, I think have, you plenty have plenty of time. Of time. I, hope I hope you like, you like the, weather. the weather. It's very, it's very nice. Nice, nice, nice place. place. Nice, nice location. location. And I do, and I do th What do you mean? Between the earth and the sun? If for being, being here. here. And, and we don't, we don't have, have... It's a lovely location. You were just slightly downwind from where I buried my ex-wife. <laughs> Very, very much heat, heat. So, so I'd say, say it's perfect, perfect weather, weather for this. For this. Uh, we're, we're, uh, the, rain the rain is not imminent, imminent based, based on the fact that there are no clouds. <laughs> I wanted to be with you all along and talk about the weather cause spe specific shit just bores me and I wanna ramble ah, now, now, what was I talking about? So it's, so really, it's really nice. nice. It, it, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for letting us know the weather is nice. We're in it, you know. We're standing right here. But that's not for you guys. That's for the, who, the who's at home who think that I am lying about the weather, the way I lie about crowd sizes. Really, really nice. nice. And, uh, not just nice. It's really nice. It's 10 times as nice as they say it is. It's as nice as immigrants are bad. Let's, let's go, go over some, some big facts, facts and, and some, some very, very substantial, substantial truths. truths. As opposed to those boring, normal truths. You know, gravity, earth being round, yawn. About, about where, where we stand, stand as a country, country because, because we're a failing, failing nation, nation because, because of the way it's been run for the last three, three and, three and, and a half years. years. Yeah, it, I, I understand that like companies don't even have the ability to print the name of the product on the boxes anymore. The box behind them of Honey Nut Cheerios, that was printed in the mid-90s. And the country's been on such a downswing 
that they now have to draw it in crayon. It's just sad. Ling Ling Nation. People, People are coming, coming into, into our, our country, country by, by the millions, millions and millions and millions. And millions. millions. It's three million. That's a lot less than he said before. We have, we have no, no idea, idea who they, who they are. are where where they... They... Well, then how do you know they're not Americans? <laughs> if you don't know who they are and they're coming into the country in the millions, maybe they're just millions of Americans who are traveling overseas because it's a great time to travel and see the world. I mean, maybe for all you know, they're just Olympic athletes coming back home. We have no idea. If you have no idea, I'm just saying. It, it just would, it would sell your point a little better if you had some idea. I'm from, I'm from but we're, we're also a failing, failing economy. economy. Kamala, Kamala Harris, Harris is, is a radical, radical California, California liberal. liberal. It says so right here on this uh, uh, boring piece of paper that I'm being forced to read by Stephen Miller, who hates me and loves me. Kind of like Melania, but without the love part, uh, says, I mean, what more evidence? It's written right there on my own notes. Who broke, Who broke the, the economy? economy? <laughs> You've seen the stock market and wages and unemployment. And what, if this is broken, what is fixed exactly? Because I think. That's it. I think you like an, account, uh, an economy where, as it were, the fix is in. Broke, broke the border, border and broke, broke the world, the world Frank. Frank. <laughs> Kamala Harris, the woman who broke the world. Uh, when is that Bowie song coming out? I know he demoed it before he died. There's got to be an AI Bowie song, the woman who broke the world. Very destructive, Very destructive to the, to the entire, entire world because... because... <laughs> well, yeah, but she broke the damn thing. Does anybody know how she did it? Yeah. So you're saying, look, what I'm hearing from you is women are incredibly strong. And if they don't manage their strength, they could kill us all. As, As we, we go, go oftentimes, oftentimes the world, the world goes. goes. <laughs> okay. Um... Back up. All right. Uh, there's too much. There's too much right out of the gate. Um, you, you said she already broke the world. So if she broke the world, then the United States is already broken and you can't break it in the future. If the world is already broken and it's broken because the United States was broken first, um, the, there's no syntax in this concept at all. You're just being a moron. This is, um, uh, by the way, I understand that Joe Biden is the most powerful president we've ever had. I get it. I understand because apparently, according to you, he has total immunity to do whatever the hell he wants. And your Supreme Court made it so. So be careful how you use that power, Joe. It's, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. But I had no idea that uh, Kamala Harris was the most powerful vice president in the history of history. Also, uh, don't forget to get your free fight silver coin when you buy a bunch of gold from these dickheads. Fight for your retirement. What retirement? The world's broken. Who's retired in a world gone mad? She, she destroys, destroys everything, everything she touches. She touches. <laughs> Has anybody checked on Doug right now? I'm worried about the first uh, or the second gentleman right now. He's the soon to be first gentleman. Uh, I'm just saying. Is he okay? And, and if, she if she wins, wins your, finances your finances in your country, country will, will never recover. recover. You're never, never going to recover. Never. Nope. I don't care. You're th you're, I know you're thinking, we're Americans. We're resilient. We fought back against, you know, after the Great Recession, uh, the, gr the Great Depression, World War II. They, we fought through the Cold War. We did all these things. But no, the, you cannot survive Hurricane Kamala. A radical, a radical left, left person, person wants, wants to put price, price controls, controls all over the place, place which, which will end up driving up your prices, prices down, down your prices. prices. Trump has an echo? Why would there be an echo? Oh, I know why. I know why. I think I know why. Thank you. Um, Harris has just declared that tackling inflation will be a day one priority. It's a, it, by the way, it's just saying it's a day one priority, not a day 
one priority. Um, I'm just, it, it matters. It's a day one priority is a, is a phrase. It's encapsulated. Never mind. It's going to be day one. <laughs> it's going to be day one. It is day one of, of several hundred. But day one really for Kamala was three and a half years ago. Where has she been? She, she's been the vice president. Now, obviously, this is the same attack he used on Biden in 2020 because there were things he wanted to do during the Obama administration, but he was the vice president and not the president. And in this particular case, same thing goes for Kamala Harris. She's saying what she would do as president, not as vice president. Uh, you know, this is an attack he uses all the time. Um, now, granted, it's an attack no one can use on him because a he never was in office before he was in office and fucked everything up but also mike pence uh never got a chance to like become the follow-on to this ticket because uh because this asshole tried to kill him i think is really and why hasn't she done it why hasn't she done it because she's vice president and vice president only has so much power and by the way they have done it so yeah i hear her complaining all the time all the time so all she does is complain but laugh and complain. This is her two defining characteristics. She was the border czar, but she didn't do anything. It's the worst border czar in history. It's never been a border czar so bad. <laughs> um, it says say border czar a bunch of times. Doesn't matter the context. Just rattle it off so you hear border czar a lot. So you just get that. People start saying border czar as in, let me use it in a sentence. Uh, Kamala Harris wasn't the border czar, like that. She's been unbelievable in terms of her badness to... <laughs> She's been unbelievable in terms of her badness. And by the way, I would like to say for the record that I will be referring to her uh, at, instead of Madam President at, at, as her badness. <laughs> um, her badness will be here in just a moment. Um, if you can please sit down, her badness will begin speaking in a minute. Um, it's Miss Harris, if you're nasty, and Donald, you're extraordinary, you're disgusting, so you don't even get to say, M Madam President, her badness. <laughs> 